Hi, David Armour here from the Giving Team at the United Church of Canada. A lot of you are asking in all of these times of change for the church, what's happening with the mission and service of the church? Well, the overall context that the church is living in is what a lot of organizations are living in in Canada. We're engaging fewer Canadians in our work and with less members and less people engaged, our revenue is going down um, congregationally and our mission service revenue is going down. It's all going down quite slowly at this point, two to three percent a year. So we have time to make changes and time to do things differently. In that context, what would we all hope the church would do? Well, I think it's doing what we'd hope it would do. It's restructuring so that it lives within its means. It's clarifying what is funding what, so that assessments will be funding governance and shared services, and mission and service donations will be funding purely mission and ministry. It's also keeping control of the funding of the mission and ministry within the hands of the people across the country so that regions will be deciding what mission and ministry ought to be done in that region and by that region. And also as a church together, uh, starting in GC42, embracing the spirit has been added. So we're focusing on innovation and looking at what new models of church uh, congregations can innovate and develop and start working with. So it's really exciting. Now this is adding to already some great, great work that's been going on across Canada and around the world. Um, work of innovation in EDGE, core funding to EDGE has been provided by Mission and Service, core funding to a whole lot of programs that you see across the church, whether it's the Healing Fund, whether it's our work in reconciliation, our work in leadership, our work in youth, all of this underpinned by Mission and Service in addition to the wonderful ministry that we're in partnership with across Canada and around the world. So that's what Mission and Services is focusing on in the next few years. And it's a good news story for Mission and Service. We won't need to dip, dip into reserves to fund the governance and leadership of the church. That'll now be funded with assessments. So think of assessments, what is needed by a congregation to support the governance and shared services. And think of Mission and Service as donations that are supporting mission and ministry that we're all in together across Canada and around the world. Thank you for everything that you do to engage other people in God's work. Thank you all.